the answer to that question of whether light was a particle or a wave would prove to be complicated. Now enter Thomas Young. The man who exposed the enigma at the heart of light and unraveled the fabric of the cosmos that we thought we knew. Come with me to one of the greatest mysteries in the history of science. It's a story about a man who could do just about anything, and Thomas Young did. For 1,500 years, no one had been able to decipher Egyptian hieroglyphics. By identifying six major sounds that the hieroglyphics represented, he was able to decrypt six of the symbols, which led to the complete translation of the ancient Egyptian language by others. He was the first to chart the family tree of the Indo-European languages. As a physician, he identified a deformity in the shape of the eye, the defective vision he named astigmatism. But it was Young's design of an experiment that sent physics down the rabbit hole we still live in. It looks simple, right? How could three sheets of cardboard set such a catastrophe in motion? A green glass shade like this one will only allow the green light through, so that only a single color or frequency of light will pass through the slits. Why was that important? Because he assumed that the many overlapping colors would result in the same light waves that Huygens imagined, called an interference pattern. He forced that single color of light to travel through two separate slits to see what kind of pattern the light would make on that last piece of cardboard. If light was a particle, you'd expect to see two distinct clumps of light in the opposite wall where the individual particles of light ended up after they passed through the slits. But that's not what happened. Instead, a completely unexpected pattern. The one that two waves would make when they overlapped or interfered with each other. That's why they're called an interference pattern. Young had demonstrated that light was actually a wave. That Newton the greatest genius in the history of science was half wrong. That light was not a particle as he had confidently proclaimed. There's a reason that arguments from authority hold little weight in science. Nature and nature only settles the argument. And she has so many tricks up her sleeve, only a fool would ever consider our understanding of nature complete. Newton had missed something fundamental. Surprising, but we haven't gotten to the really disturbing part yet. <laughs>